Hey guys, welcome back to Children of Morta. Uh, we are going to try the uh, Cal Caldibio Caves again. I wonder what Mary was writing until well into the night. Is he lost or is... Alright, yeah, we already read this stuff. So we're just going to rush right into it, but beforehand... Um, actually, no. Let's just rush right into it. So even if we lose, I think that's part of the thing. Like we lose and we just keep trying over and over and over. Well, let's go with John for this round. Here we go. <coughs> so yeah, days been pretty pretty good. I had a snowstorm last night. That was uh, intense. It was uh, interesting because I went into work early this morning and there wasn't a lot of con it wasn't it wasn't too busy it was expansive and dangerous would they be able to find Kevin or would the spider's lair trap Kevin first ah yeah we gotta find Kevin that's right so yeah our goal is to find Kevin um to be mod <laughs> alright alright dodge out of the way alright come on come on, come on. and look at all that Damage. Come on. We gotta find Kevin. Kevin! Why? Anyway. Yeah, I went to work. It was pretty good. Um, not only did it work, like, was what was it slow? But there was a... I think there was a... decent amount of boredom between all the employees. Everyone was kind of like... Just talking, gossiping, doing their own thing. But... I just kind of was quiet the whole time. Ooh, what is that? I hate these bats, they're so dumb. Die. Die. There we go. Alright, what are you? The Obelisk of Endurance. Strongly reduces damage for a limited duration. Ooh, okay. Alright, so there's traps in the middle of the floor. Take care of that. Oh, yeah, I was, um... So, I was reading tonight in the Bible and stuff, and I was listening to a song, and it really stuck out to me. Um, I can't remember the name of the song, but some of the lyrics in the song were very interesting. It's, uh, the lyrics said, Four steps were to be taken in the correct order. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. Look at that! Wow! That was nice. First try. Alright, what are you? Vortex that pulls energy. Interesting. But anyway, so the song said, uh, some of the lyrics were, You called me out of darkness. You, si uh, you silence every lie. No other voice will define me. I belong to you. I belong to you. And then it says, Greater are you who's in me than he who's in the world. This is a boss player. Someone tells me it's a boss. Yep. Come on, where's the boss? Alright, let's use this vortex. Oh, that did nothing. Alright, got a lot of levels. That's a good thing. Anyway, so, it says, Greater are you who's in me than he who's in the world. The words you have spoken... Uh, the words you have spoken are stronger than any curse. And it really stuck out to me. And then I was reading in Luke uh, 12, uh, verse 24, and it says, the ra uh, Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have they, uh, which neither have, excuse me, let's just pause right here a minute. But it says, Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them, and how much more are ye bitter than fowls? So what it's saying is, God will feed the ravens. The ravens don't look for anything. They don't even go out and search. The Lord just provides. And in this thing, in these times where so much is going wrong, will we allow the Lord to provide for us? Will we allow Him to nourish us? Or are we going to go off on our own in do our own thing? And it really struck me in the spirit, like, 
talk to my youth group about that and just bring it up. Cause when you really look when you really look into it, it really sticks out about how we need to learn to lean on the Lord and trust him. I know things are getting bad in the world. They get worse each and every day. Christians are being mocked, ridiculed, and shunned more and more for what we believe. And all this together, we're stronger than the devil, but we allow him to act like he's bigger than us. Let me tell you something. Greater is he that is in us than he is in the world. God is greater than God is greater than any of our problems. He's greater than any illness, fever, sickness, disease, and any depression, any burden. We allow our situation to become our comfort zone. What do I mean by that? I mean, we allow ourselves to get so wrapped up in our situation, we don't even try to look for an out. The only out we have is to complain to other people, instead of asking the Lord to provide for us, in order to asking the Lord to be that comfort that we need. Speaking of which, let me, um, how do I do that? Nope, there it is. Skills. So, what do I have? I have one shard. Increases John armor. Unleash your rage to temporarily become invulnerable. Alright. Hmm. Why not? I'll save it. And it really that that really sticks out to me because I wish that how do I say it? I wish we would stop using like the greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater increasingly critical chance. Interesting. I wish we'd stop using that verse for like a children's verse, and we'd really start to depend on that verse, and we'd really start to take it to heart. Because if we were to learn and just to think a little bit. Oh, here we go. Save point. Alright. But yeah, if we can overcome any trial because our God is greater than fear, depression, hurt, illness, and much more. And as I said, it reminds me of Luke 12. Uh, 24. If the Lord's able to feed the fowls of the earth, some had invested this object with great power. Alright, creates a totem that slows enemies. I could rarely use it, actually. But yeah, if the Lord's able to feed the birds and the fowls of the earth, what could he do for us? Imagine what he's able to do for us. I mean, think about that. We shouldn't be worried or fearful. Stay strong. Trust in the Lord. Oh, there's someone. Please. Nothing. Okay. Even even for me, it's difficult at times. E even today, I, f I face anxiety. I face fear. Each and every day it comes to me. But we can't allow the devil to get a hold of our thoughts. We can't even allow our own fleshly, carnal minds to get a hold of our thoughts. We have to stay fo so focused in this time, so dedicated to the Lord, that it overtakes anything else. I mean, clearly you have to live. You have to... There's a life you gotta live. You gotta survive. I I'm saying be realistic about it. There's a time and a place for everything. But always make time for the Lord. Know that He's gonna support you and be there for you more than anyone else. Trust in Him that He's gonna make the right choice. If there is someone that you that you want to end up seeing, or if there's some someone you feel you want to be with, ask the Lord to let their will and your will. Uh, let his will for both, excuse me, yeah, let his will for both of your lives intertwine and mingle so it can serve for the better purpose of him. Not only that, but let's say, for instance, you've got to make a tough decision on to go down one path or not. Pray to the Lord about it. I mean, obviously, you can make the call on what you do or not, but having the Lord's input or even just taking a step out in faith is going to be so helpful, more than you can see. Like, each and every day we all go through trials. Silk Caverns number two. Alright. Mm, yeah, that's the only way to go. Here we go. But it's so desperate that we really, really understand this. Ooh, that was a perfect hit. Alright, Kevin. Where are you? Oh, there's a boss up there. Ooh, what's that? There's a symbol up there. It's interesting. I admit. Alright, let's give it a I'm getting a random phone call. I'm just gonna go to that right now. I am not 
dead. Good. But yeah, um... We're meant to be witnesses, and if we always are just staying stuck in our own little trial, we're never really gonna make it anywhere. Alright, exploding force surrounds the enemy Bergson. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> and you're dead. Alright, let's see what's down here. Palagio the Odd, the feathers upon her head appearing as a crown. If any were to catch her, a desired object would be given. Alright, following. Further she fled. It's gonna be a trap, isn't it? Oh, that's a box. I'm just gonna keep following. I can dodge this Deeper into the depths she moved. Oh, we made it. Relishing the chase. She accepted defeat. All right. Ooh. Mysterious egg found. All right. I guess we'll just... I don't know. We found a mysterious egg, so that's something. I guess I don't know what it does, but... All right. What is, uh, what is the key say about this? Teleport. Alright, well, I guess we'll teleport. Do we head back to where we once were? Yeah, 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 there we are. So there's a lot of enemies down there. Alright, I hate this. I hate this. I really hope there's some health items down here because I really need it badly. Nothing. I'll take this. Pulsing damage. Sure. Boom. Boom. I can just dodge it and I can just damage. Actually seems like it'd be really useful. I'll take that life healing. Alright, we're just taking more and more damage. What is you? Alright, do damage you. Alright, you're gone. So we lost that Alright, so we are gaining a little bit of life. I mean, we could wait a bit. Ooh, that was a boss. That was a mini boss. Alright. I'm just gonna sit here a bit. But yeah, my day's been pretty good. I, um, didn't do a whole lot, but. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I gotta take care of that mini boss. If I don't, then. Nothing up there. Okay. Where is it? Come here. I admit, it is a lot more difficult. It's easier to play with John against giant swarms, but it's also difficult, because. I mean. You gotta get up close and personal. Alright, took care of that. Alright, took care of that. Come on, again, fire. Alright. One, two, three. That out. Let's go one. Um, come on, come on. Don't explode. 
Ooh, health, health potion. Okay. Save up a few more seconds. One, two. One, two. I think what I hate the most is how there's so many spiders. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Heal up a bit. Uh, still can't get in there. I gotta take this real carefully. Okay. Alright, and now! 14 enemy hit combo. Bad. So I get 10 gold. Take care of them. Alright, that did some damage. Alright, remember to use your shield. Remember to use your shield, my guy. Here we go. It makes it so antsy trying to take these things out. At least this has like a immensely fast cooldown. That's gone. So I healed a little bit more. What's up here? Ooh, another save. So that's the mini boss. Found that. That's a good thing. But we haven't found Kevin. Ooh, what are you? Tired of being called Shady, he instead adopted the title Mysterious Shopkeep. May prosperity find a way back into our lives. Oh, so it costs one of them. Alright, who are you? Anadaya, bringing a bringer of life. All I want is some. All I want is some extra health. Please give me the health. I like the music, it's interesting. One who cannot be touched, but has touched all the lives. Mm. If you live by faith, if you have faith, we will be accepted into the promised land. <coughs> yeah, I don't have any of that, so I can't do anything. I just gotta go find some. Alright, Kevin, come on, bud. Where are you? Ooh. Oh no! Love. Truly a divine emotion. Especially during dark days. Oh. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. We need to protect it! We need to protect it! NATO! <laughs> But you're okay. You're okay. While love now compelled the young one to try and rouse her from eternal slumber. Oh. And it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Bergsons. Yes, please. Wolf Cub rescued. So I, we're probably going to lose this, but you know what? We're not going to beat the boss this time, but we are, like, getting so much stuff. I mean, we found the shopkeeper, uh, sh the shopkeeper's lair. We... Ooh, got a health potion. That's good. We rescued a wolf pup. We're probably going to find Kevin. If we head down. So this is not, you know, bad. We're really making it out there. Oh, I, I got to go look one more time. That was... That was really sad. Oh, that made me that made me upset a little bit. May you rest May you rest in peace, young lad. The mother protected the child, laid down her life for the pup. Oh, that's that's really sad. That makes me that makes me upset a bit. Alright, there we 
we go. Anything in there? Oh. <laughs> I gotta be really careful with how I attack, because if I don't attack, well, if I attack the way, it's gonna cost me a lot of health, and I can't have that. Alright, that's gone. Good. Yes. Ooh, we got full health now. That's a good thing. That is a lot of enemies. Alright, maybe I could use my shield. Alright, now! Alright, come on. Alright, I used my shield, that's good. I need to break shield. Alright, is there something in here? Yeah, there is. Ooh, what are you? Increase the movement speed and dodge and kiss. Sure, why not? Blackfoot added to items codex. Okay. Alright, is there there's something over here. I know that for a fact. Here we go. That's right. There we go, that's been taken care of. We're just gonna keep pushing down until we find Kevin. I hear the I hear the uh the giant. One, two, three. Oh, what are you? This was Grandpa Adam's journal of his adventures. He writes about how he and a friend went after a missing caravan. Ooh. Okay. Dude, that's uh creepy. That thing is giant. Okay. So we found a wolf, we found a caravan. Uh, no, we, correction, we found a, a journal from Grandpa Adam. We found a wolf pup, and now we're looking for Kevin! That's a lot of gold. So if I use this, does it teleport me to the place? It does. Alright, where else do I have to check? Oh, here it is. Grandfather's Journal. Caltipio Caves. Mission Caravan. The caravan went missing several days ago. Due to the cave's proximity to the grove, Drake, uh, Drake called in the favor I... Drake called in that favor I owed him. Maybe now he, he can let this whole fiasco go. No. <clears throat> Maybe now he can let that whole fiasco in the, in the Barden Seas go. Rhea, forgive me for thinking wood would float on water, but I disagree. We continue to search for the caravan in the morning. Field report. Adam. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna heal up this one time. Alright, what are these two? Increases maximum health, pick up to buy. Creates a totem that buffs you. Increases the. Alright, more of gained. Increases maximum health. Cost is two and I got one. Okay, well, we're at full health, so. Here we go. Time to go after this bot mini boss. We didn't find Kevin, but. I was hoping. Unfortunately. Alright, I want to figure out what these things do again. Nope, that's the wrong button. Um, unleash your rage to become invulnerable, deal thorn damage to attackers, or to increase armor. Mm, I, again, I want to save it. Alright, anyway, let's look up what I was trying to find. Items. Divine relics? Alright. Ah, here it is. The totem of Anahid. Creates a totem that slows enemies. Okay. Increases movement speed. Uh, uh, in dodge chance at the cost of losing ability to evade. 
Here we go. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Okay. Oh crap, sorry about that. Um went offline for a second there. Alright, here we go. Alright, increase to another level, that's good. Further than I had before, that's a good thing. I mean, we saved a whoop pup and we did a whole lot of other stuff, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I didn't find Kevin, so that's really upsetting. Kevin returned from his saga with barely a scratch. Yet, he found no appreciation from his family, especially his father. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. His favorite line asking how he could be so inconsiderate. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle, and his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage with caution. Yes! Does that mean we unlock Kevin? Dude, that's so cool. Did we unlock Kevin, didn't we? Oh, this is so sweet. Uncle Ben is drinking. Perhaps Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. That's so sweet. Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body. 
its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. The family believed several plants found deep in the nearby caves combined together could serve to remedy the situation. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go to the caves and get some herbs and stuff. Kevin is now playable. Alright, let's read what that says. Kevin is now available in the character selection. He, he has learned the ways of the assassin. Alright. Ben's workshop. <clears throat> Father is right to be so angry with Kevin after what he did. What else do you gotta say about that? My heart goes out to those poor people. Seeing them trapped in, in those spider webs is painful. Eh, that's true. Alright, let's take a workshop. I need that swiftness up. I'll... I'll pay the price for it. Alright. Well, I want to take a look at Kevin. Actually, no. We'll wait till next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. We actually accomplished quite a bit. That poor dog. Poor wolf pup. It looks so sad. And it looks hurt. Uh, next time, we're going to go rescue. And, uh, not rescue. We're going to go find the... Uh... Oh. Yeah. I'm really curious to see how Grandma could affect the outcome of events. But we are going to, next time, find a, a cure for the pup. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening. Uh, until next time.